Welcome to this video tutorial from CoreTechnologies.com. Today, we are going to show you how to run PDF Creator 24 7 as a Windows service with Always Up. Once we are done, PDF Creator will start automatically when your PC boots and remain running in the background to convert your files to PDF even before you log in. Let's get started. First, if you haven't already done so, Download and install PDF Creator. Be sure to perform a server installation, which is the most appropriate option for unattended operation. Next, let's prepare PDF Creator to run unattended. We must eliminate confirmation and notification prompts because when we run with Always Up, no one may be logged in to dismiss those windows. Start PDF Creator as an administrator, select Printer, Options, and deactivate all settings that may prompt for input. We recommend the following. After selecting the general settings on the left, check the No Confirmation Message Switching PDF Creator temporarily as default printer box under the General Settings 1 tab. At the bottom of the General Settings 2 tab, disassemble checking for updates. And in the Auto Save section, configure automatic saving without prompting. Be sure to review all of PDF Creator's settings and eliminate other potential interruptions. Click on the Save button when you are done. Next, download and install Always Up from CoreTechnologies.com. Next, start Always Up and select Application Add to open the Add Application window. In the Application field, enter the full path to the PDF Creator executable, pdfcreator.xa. If you installed PDF Creator in the default location, this is C colon backslash program files backslash PDF Creator backslash PDF Creator dot XA. In the name field, enter the name that you will call your application in Always Up. We have specified PDF Creator, but you can specify another name if you like. Click over to the Log On tab and enter the username and password of the account in which you installed and configured PDF Creator. PDF Creator must run in this account so it can find its settings. Click over to the Startup tab and check the Ensure that the Windows Networking Components have started box. This informs Always Up that PDF Creator needs the network to do its work. We are now done configuring Always Up. So click the Save button to record the settings. In a couple of seconds, an application called PDF Creator will show up in the Always Up window. It's not yet running though. Now before we start PDF Creator as a Windows service, we must stop any existing instance. If PDF Creator is already running on your desktop, please close it now. To start PDF Creator as a Windows service from Always Up, choose Application, Start, PDF Creator. The state should transition to running after a few seconds and PDF Creator will be working in the background. Note, on Windows 8, 7, Vista and Server 2012 and 2008, PDF Creator's Print Monitor window won't be visible. This is because PDF Creator is running in the isolated session zero and can no longer interact with your desktop. If you wish to see the Print Monitor window and interact with it normally, choose Tools, switch to Session 0 to move to the isolated Session 0. Click the Return Now button when you are ready to return to your normal desktop. And finally, now that PDF Creator will always be running in the background, there is no need to start it again when you log on. We recommend using the free Auto Runs tool from Microsoft to disable PDF Creator's Auto Start but any startup manager should do the trick. With Auto Runs, click over to the Log On tab and uncheck the box beside the PDF Creator entry. That's it. Next time your server boots, PDF Creator will start up immediately before anyone logs on. Please restart your PC and test that PDF Creator works as expected after Windows reboots. We encourage you to edit the entry in Always Up and check out the many other settings that may be appropriate for your environment. Boost priority, send email if PDF Creator crashes, and much more. Thank you for watching.